Um, so from my point of view, um, I'm the local vicar. Uh, I was involved in an event uh, in 2012, I think, called Hodge Unsung Heroes. Um, and one of the things that we were keen to do at that point was discover local people with a passion for something that they wanted to start or develop in our neighbourhood, in our community. Um, and one of the, the kind of standout unsung heroes of 2012 uh, was Phil. Uh, and when we asked him the question, if you could find a couple of people to join you, what would you start in your neighbourhood? Uh, Phil said, I want to start a theatre group. Um, and he kind of, as he almost always does, had it all planned out in his head already. Um, and actually all he needed at that point was, was just some cheerleaders, a bit of encouragement, uh, some help kind of connecting with, with neighbours and finding a bit of funding. And hey presto, off it went, the rest is history. So the theatre group began because we did an event called Unsung Heroes, or Chill Unsung Heroes, which was about celebrating people in our community who do amazing things but nobody ever takes any notice, they don't get recognised, etc. So we did an awards uh, kind of ceremony, people nominated people, um, we handed out 100 awards um, to all kinds of different people, doing all kinds of different things. But one of the things that we asked on the evening was uh, if there was one thing that you could do with your neighbours, what would that be? And Phil was there uh, and he said, I would love to start a community theatre group. I've been involved in theatre and showmanship, as he puts it, uh, over the years, and I would love to do something in my own community. Uh, and we said, great, fantastic, a few of us will row in with that. We'll see if we can help you get a few quid uh, to get yourself started. And the theatre group was born. Um, so the theatre group began, I think it was a lot to do with Phil's passion and I, I have memories of him talking to me about his passion for a theatre group and the kind of theatre group he wanted to do. And I, I, if, I, if I'm honest, I was a little bit, um, I'm not sure about this, um, I'm not sure if it would work, but his passion just came through. And then this idea of doing a pantomime and he, you know, he said that we, need, we should do a pantomime. So, responding to his passion, and then there was a few of the bits that kind of uh, he, he talked to a few of the people about it, and we just gave it a go, um, and it was brilliant. It was so magical. It was, and and Phil's determination that this wasn't going to be amateur dramatics, uh, and I'd had no experience of what that is, but the, just the, the the feeling of the group. And the fact that everybody gets given a chance um, was just magical, and I think, and and just the whole process of, of 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 coming together on the Tuesday evenings and and the banter and the and the laughs and the, but also genuinely caring for each other. It was it was it was lovely, and I think, you know, the, the, we never sat down and decided what this group was going to be about, but I think the way that Phil kicked it off, the way that Phil kind of set the tone with giving people a chance. It just grew from there. And then you, you get a bunch of people together who just begin to care for each other. It, it just began to kind of set the culture that, that's emerged uh, 10 years later. Well, the theatre group began um, because I was looking for something that was missing in the neighbourhood, really. Uh, it's been... 10, 11 years almost now since we started. And I, w I, I was looking for something for myself more than anybody else to start with, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, because I missed it, I left the circus and I, you know, I love entertaining of some kind of, and I, and I wanted to j join sort of a, an, a, a dramatic group. I call it Amdram, don't know. I don't like that word, but look, it, it, it sums it up really. And, and I did actually go to a couple and I thought, you know, I don't feel like I fit in here. I didn't feel comfortable. Uh, there was issues with like, a sort of, a, as daft as it sounds, it, it gave like a class sort of thing about going on. And I didn't really like that. And I thought, you know, there's, there's a lot of people out there that, that want to do what I want to do, but I'm not too sure how to go about it without going to college or university or whatever. 
So I thought, well, let's let's do a theatre group for the linemen, basically. So just come along and have a go and see what it's like. And it, it turned out that, uh, to be something that's grown and grown and grown over the years now. And I'm, and I'm thankful that we started it. So I've been part of the theatre group now for, oh, three years? No, two years. Two, just two and a half years from now. Um, and... The way I got involved with it was I came over to Furs and Bradford and saw one of the pantomimes that they put on uh, and was really enjoying watching it and wanted to be involved and I had a short conversation with Phil one day uh, and he, he, he had a chat with me and within two minutes he was like, yep, great, I want you in. And he went, we're doing a passion play at Easter, which they do for the local church every couple of years and he said, I need someone to play a particular role for it because the guy that normally plays this role is no longer with us. And he said, how do you feel about being Jesus Christ? And that was my introduction to the theatre group and I was thrown in at the deep end, but revelled in it and I've not looked back since. It's been great. Right, um, so my name's Diane Donaldson and uh, I've been involved with the theatre group uh, for about six years now. Um, uh, when they first started filming on, on Bromford and they did the uh, film in the, the, the old, the former Warstone Tower, the zombies, <laughs> so I was uh, involved in that. Um, Phil asked me to, to come along and we did um, a scene outside here. Uh, yeah, so really enjoyed it and sort of got, got the bug from there. Um, I've literally just joined the theatre group. Uh, the reason I got involved, my partner does uh, community work for Bromford and they were looking for some other people to, to come in and um, Phil was aware because I, I, I play in bands and so I'm used to doing performances and they basically they wanted a Viking so uh, it was quite easy really. <laughs> so I've been a part of the theatre group for not too long actually so um, I would only say in the last couple of years and I got involved uh, when uh, Phil uh, basically he saw me and had an idea in his head for I looked to the part for something in this particular case uh, as a Viking I think in the beard and there <laughs> kind of did it for him and he just came and said I'll be a Viking and I said yeah <laughs> and so he wrote me in and now I've just become a, a part of it now so attending attending the groups and things and I've obviously now been in a, a bit of a production and it's been it's been great yeah it's been great I've been a member for about two years, over two years, and I came predominantly here for gardening. And I'd met Phil before on different things, not really spoken to him, came along, he said, oh, come to the theatre group, we're meeting Tuesday night. So I went to the theatre group, got through the door. This is our new member, Christine. And that was it, and I was, I was a member, and it's, and it's been really good, really, really good. And it's, it's helped me through a lot and everybody's helped me as well. And it's not, if you're new, it's not that you're less of a person than, than the older ones are. You, you're treated equally. Uh, I've been uh, part of the theatre group about like, I think about three years now. Like, uh, the only reason I got involved was I had an ex-girlfriend who used to be involved with it. And then, then it sort of just carried on from there, sort of thing. Uh, I wasn't really. I think the first time I did it was just like dressing up, greeting people, like coming in and stuff. And then I've got feel added, added me just in like roles and stuff. And like, okay, I'll just, I'll just do this now. <laughs> So I think I've been uh, part of the theatre group for way too long, probably about four years, and I was roped into it. So I'd heard about the, the theatre group and attended the pantomimes each year, and I was always felt too shy, I couldn't do it. And uh, the one year um, I was asked if um, someone had dropped out at the last minute, it was on the Friday, you know, the pantomimes on the Saturday, they're going to let people down, and it's just a little part, it's just a walk-on part where you just... I thought, okay, I can't let people down. So I did, so I turned up and I actually liked the, the buzz in the background and um, watching everybody getting ready and excited and I, I, it felt really good. So I did, I stepped on stage, 
covered up and I was just stood there. And then uh, the next day they said, oh, someone else has dropped out. You know, can you step in again? Can you do another part sort of thing? It was like, okay, I can do this. But then it was like, you've got a line <laughs> and a song. And it was like, oh, no, no, why? But I did it and it, I loved it. And then I joined <laughs> and been doing it ever since. The, th- the difference of the theatre group makes to me is a sense of camaraderie, like a sense of um, doing something together, having some fun doing it, but also doing something well, like as part of that. Um, I think the the rhythm of meeting up, trying new things, you know, that's all interesting and exciting. I've built loads of friendships out of it, which has been, do you know I mean, which has been really important. And then I think a feeling that when people come to watch what you do, people enjoy it, and so you're bringing a bit of laughter and a bit of fun like into people's lives? To begin with, it was just so lovely to have a group of people who, who you can trust, who make you feel so welcome, and who you can play with. You know, when you get, when you get a bit older, um, your friends are also getting older, you get more sedentary, you, you don't go out as often. It's natural, it happens as you get older. But then suddenly, when you find yourself on your own, um, and that sort of support social network are all staying at home doing nothing. <laughs> Life gets a bit tedious. <laughs> uh, the difference what the third degree has made for me is that it's sort of helped me a bit more with my confidence because like I was a bit more shy doing like new stuff and activities but that just like pushed me it's like especially when doing like film like this film thing I was like at first very shy like start off with and then the confidence grew and it was like oh, I wish I would have like reshoot some of the scenes and, like I finally got the confidence to do it it's like oh no <laughs> but yeah um, I think I think the difference for me is um, it's a it's a, an amazing group of people that that we have a laugh and we care for each other and I just love I love when people get given a chance and seeing them thrive and seeing them start off with a little walk on part and then a couple of pantos later they're, they're, they're one of the main characters and just the difference that it makes and I think that's what it makes a difference for me. I think seeing other people flourish and and I, I, mean, I, I have said this all the way through. I. If I moved to another place, I would not seek out a theatre group. I wouldn't necessarily want to be on the stage. I don't particularly like being centre of attention, I think. But there's just something about this group that actually, we just have a real laugh. And I think for me, the pantomimes in particular, but but most of the things that we do are just some of the most magical moments in the year, um, where there's this combination of fun and stress and anxiety but we do it together and we just we just have such a good time it's just so good I think one of the amazing things about the theatre group here is that it has drawn out of all kinds of local people um, gifts and skills and passions that they didn't even imagine they had Phil's got an amazing ability with a twinkle in his eye to twist people's arms to to get involved in ways that they could barely dream of. Um, And the wonderful thing about theatre is there are so many different opportunities to get involved, not just uh, on stage, but people making props and costumes, people behind the scenes, um, people around the edges offering hospitality, um, and also a sense of actually every production that Bromford Theatre Group puts on is, is bigger than just the actors in the play. You kind of get sucked into it, drawn into it, and kind of part of something bigger. Um, and certainly in terms of the impact on the neighbourhood, um, one of the amazing things about it is that in the midst of a journey that has often been really hard work of building community here from the, the grassroots up, the theatre groups kind of offered points along the way of joy and silliness and laughter 
um, and celebration, um, even in kind of some of the, the more challenging, tough times of the community. Uh, actually, the theatre group's been one of those kind of key points of, of gathering and, and kind of re-energising people. So being a part of the theatre group has made quite a difference in my life. Um, a lot of belonging, a lot of family, um, somewhere to go, um, myself with mental health. Um, so sort of finding um, groups that are fitting and I can express myself. Um, really important, made to be welcome and not like, developing my um, skills and my talents. Um, it's been really, really good. Uh, the theatre groups made uh, a vast difference to me. Um, I've got to know the community better because being involved in it, so I've got to, to know uh, members of the community on a different basis as from being a councillor. So yeah, and it's, it's had good fun. Um, I think it's given me a new outlet, uh, especially because because of uh, lockdown. I haven't been able to go. I'm, I'm, um, the band's on hi hiatus. Uh, I'm, I cycle a lot, so I haven't been doing that very much. And it's so it's given me that opportunity to do that. And I do, I enjoy showing off basically. So it's it's really given me an opportunity to kind of do that. I haven't got any. I have, I've literally got one line in, in the production there, which I didn't have. So, <laughs> so maybe next time. So the difference that the theatre group makes to me is that it's, it's actually just a nice outlet um, for energy and, and creativity and a good chance to do that with other people. Um, so I think, yeah, just, just having a space where you can just kind of be, be a character, be, be someone, be extravagant, kind of be, be out there and, and do that with other people and it'd be really comfortable and free is really nice and liberating. And I think, yeah, that what that can do for the community, I think, is... is much the same really that bringing people together and allowing people to have an outlet be free and liberating and and the bond you can build through that is is just incredible oh blimey um over the years it's it's given me a sense of purpose you know i was like most people i was working nine to five in in a, in a job that's like the same thing over and over again most of the time and uh and rather than just sit at home and read a book or watch the telly which i love doing don't get me wrong uh, I wanted to do something for me, really. And again, it's all purely selfish, and like you know, I, I own up to that, and it's great. And I think you've got to have a bit of an ego to do what we do, you know. So it it, it feeds my ego. Uh, am I any good or any, I'm not? I don't know. That's for other people to judge, not me. I don't. We don't judge anybody, and we just do what we do. And uh, for me, it gives me a. It's a therapy in a way. Uh, it gives me a sense of purpose and I've made a lot of friends very quickly and some really good friends and it, it's helped me through like I've had one or two serious illness I know everybody harps on about oh if it wasn't for that it saved me life I, I can honestly say that this probably did because when I was diagnosed with certain things um, I, I mean it's no secret I had prostate cancer and I didn't know which way to turn and uh, it was all these guys with what we do helped me through it really and we're at the other end thankfully and, and in a good place you know i think the difference the theater group has made to me has brought me out of my shell a lot more um i became quite reserved personally um a few years ago and wasn't very outgoing at all and then i got to know people in this community before i actually became part of the group and They've been able to help me become myself and I've started to form my own ideas and start doing creative things that I enjoy doing um, a lot more. So I think that's the difference it's made to me. For the community itself, it's just amazing to see the look on people's faces when they come to watch pantomime or they see us doing street events um, and, and just being able to get involved and see it, seeing us bring something to community. This year, we did a road trail through the estate for Wizard of Oz and it wasn't for any reason we weren't raising money for the group it was just so that we could bring smiles to people's faces because of the last year that we've had and it was amazing to see people coming to their front doors and to their windows waving at us and just just that glow and, and that, that happiness coming through and I think that is one of the biggest differences it's made to this community. A lot more, um, more, more confident, um, 
just really it's really helped me out as well and it's it gets me out doing things and and it, it makes the it go it goes quickly but it it's something to do you always got like oh I've got so and so on that night to go I've got that that on so and so night to do and you you look forward to that to that night to come in here and having a laugh as well my favourite thing about the theatre group, probably, one is the people. One is just this sense of, I really look forward to it. We do rehearsal nights on Tuesday nights and I really look forward to it. And it's always, you know, fun, etc. cetera. Um, uh, I think that's probably the main thing. But I think some of the stories that we've got of people's confidence being built, and literally you can see people building their confidence in front of your eyes. You know, I can think of people over the years who, you know, maybe were very quiet when they first started, maybe even only wanted to do like backstage or something. And then a few years later are up front doing parts in front of everybody else. Just seeing the difference that it makes, I think, is the thing that kind of really invigorates me, I think. Um, the social aspect mainly, I enjoy the social aspect of it. Uh, that's why I keep coming back to the theatre group. Um, Phil kindly invites me along and I'm more than happy to get involved. Oh, the people. Phil and Flo are so lovely and genuinely lovely. And and Paul and, and, and everybody, everybody, it's just such a lovely, welcoming group to be in. And no, there's no airs and graces. There's no um, pretending to be, we don't pretend to be arty crafty. <laughs> We don't pretend, we do pretend, that's it, isn't it? We do pretend, we pretend to be um, lords and ladies and kings and peasants. And then, um, because you're pretending with that, when you finish and you take off your dressing up clothes, you're you, aren't you? And everybody's the same, it's grand. Uh, um, just being daft, really. I mean, I, if I go anywhere, if I go any any functions or anything like that, which is very few and far between when I do, and I introduce myself, I always say, hello, my name's Phil, and I'm a show-off. And that, that sums it up for me, really, is that like, I like showing off, you know. Uh, have I got a big head? Probably, you know. Am I egotistical? Definitely. Um, but it's fun. We don't, we don't do it to, to think we're cleverer than anybody else or better than anybody else. Uh, you've only got to speak to any of the, uh, I'll call them a troop, but the, the, the guys in the theatre group, you speak to any of them and they'll tell you we have so much fun, it's unbelievable and that's what it should be about. It's not about a director shouting at somebody because they've got the words wrong. If they get the words wrong, so what? You know, nine times out of ten, the only person that knows they've got it wrong is you. You know, the audience don't know uh, and in, sometimes it makes it funnier. We tend to, we do, the one thing we do do, we have done a little bit of drama and we have had some nice moments, but we tend to go more for like making people smile and, and having a laugh. And the way we look at it is, if we can smile and laugh at it, other people can. And I would rather, that's the best medicine in the world for me. I think the favourite thing about the theatre group is that we're from like, different backgrounds like we've been through different things but yet we can talk to each other about different things like if someone's feeling depressed or like anxiety about something and then yeah it's the it's like a family we're all like a family we're all like different things but people can come and go and if you say you don't want to do this you're not in trouble for it you don't get so you don't say, "Oh, I can't do this." Oh no, 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 no! It's never that. You you can come and go as you please. You're like a family. We look out for each other. We look out for each other, and that's the thing. My favourite thing about the theatre group has got to be the the jokes. It's got to be the the sense of humour, the, the 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 banter. Like the actual acting and the and the playing roles is good, and that's a good part of it. But I think it's all the little interactions you get with people, the the, the laughing, the joking, the the joking about, being comfortable with just kind of experimenting and playing around. Really, that's probably my favourite thing. Oh, favourite thing about the theatre group? It's a good question, Matt. I think part of it is the people. Uh, the camaraderie, the, the 
for jokes and just being able to support one another and be a bit like a family. We are our own family. We look out for each other. And that's something that brings me back week after week for rehearsals and for discussions and to talk about things. But also, I think it's also allowing me to express myself with my costume designs. So I'm able to put my own costumes together and show off my creativity that way. And it's also allowed me to go, I want to create some short, small films myself on characters that I've already created at home and I've started to write some scripts and stuff for them and I'm, I'm hoping that I can read them through with the group at a later date and get them involved and kind of collaborate with them on my own little projects as well and I think that's what brings me back and it, it's just nice to be around like-minded people that have got the same values and just care about one another and that's the key thing I think. So being involved in the theatre group makes me feel part of a, a second family, I guess. Um, that's uh, part of something. I'm very well aware that we're not making blockbusters, but that's not the point. And it's, uh, it's having that second family and having that outlet is, is really good. But it definitely makes me feel like I'm part of something bigger than myself. Being involved in the in the different uh, community projects, it makes me feel as as part of the community, not above the community, but as working with the community. So it's a whole different aspect, and it's something I really enjoy, uh, and um, will continue to do so hopefully for many years. Uh, well, being involved in different fit like theatre projects is actually makes me feel like I mean like my own little bubble sort of thing away from the world and it's like in a way like refreshes myself and like makes me look in, look in like different views and avenues and how to help other people and stuff as well but yeah oh just magic and also now just just recently we've started uh, meeting every Tuesday. Um, in the past, um, when there's been a project coming up, particularly the pantomime, we start practicing the pantomime um, in, in September or so. Um, and then if we do a murder mystery, there'll be a couple of, of meetings here um, prior to whatever it is that, that we're going to do. Uh, but now we've decided we're going to meet every Tuesday. And that is just so nice because it gives you something to look forward to. Um, we just, we, we, we're supposed to come and chat about our future projects and um, what we're going to do next and review, um, you know, what we've just done. Uh, um, but really it's just a lovely opportunity to get together and sit with people who are just so kind and nice to be with. Um, being involved with the theatre projects, it makes me feel confident in myself, and, but also happy. I'm, my eyes light up, my face lights up whenever I start talking about the theatre group and, and getting involved with new projects. And the project that we've just done, this film, it's something completely different. I've never done that before and I've loved every minute of it. And I just would love to continue doing more things like this. And I know there'll be plenty of opportunities going forward. So, yeah. You feel included. You feel in included as well. And uh, you feel wanted. You really feel wanted. And it's, it's, a, it's a privilege to be part of that as well. Really is. So being involved in all the different things, in all the parties with the theatre group, you feel quite special because you've been asked to and you think oh maybe I'm not good enough but when you're asked and actually you step on set or behind the scenes or something you do it makes you feel really really special I've quite enjoyed it and especially down uh, during lockdown um, I'm very isolated and that's not very good for my mental health so we did a few little projects that got me out and got me thinking and got me excited so it really did help my well-being. The Robin Hood thing when Phil told me about this idea, again, it was one of those times he, he, he comes up with so many ideas that sometimes it's hard to follow, but I, I could get what he was wanting to do. And I think it was, I thought there is something quite uh, magical about going away together, going to a place that's a bit special, doing something a bit different, being together, because having spent so much time apart, and, and doing something that we hadn't done before. Um, 
So there wasn't a burning desire to be in front of a camera because there's genuine, genuinely not. It was, it's the process and the chance to be together, to do something together and to do something that I think hopefully we'll all be proud of. And, you know, I think, um, and that's, that's why I, that's what excited me about this Robin Hood project. And that's what, you know, why I kind of said to Phil, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's make, you know, I'll, I'll help you make it happen. And I think that's why everybody, you know, signs up for these things. Cause it's just like, you get caught up in the, the idea and you get caught up in the, what, what, what's possible. And then, you know, you're going to have a laugh. And, that, and I think that's the, you know, whatever the idea is, you know, you can have fun. And I think that's what's, that's what draws us all in. I think the thing I enjoy the most about the filming was the day on set at the castle having the experience of filming on a location like that uh, and seeing everyone involved in their own parts and working together to to bring something that had been written by one person and a vision and bring it all together and seeing everyone just supporting each other again and being able to get each other through those scenes and and hopefully seeing it all be brought together will just create this magical piece of film that everyone can enjoy for years to come. It was a great day out. It was good to go somewhere like somewhere different. Uh, I think learning about filming, I think that was a really that was a really good part of part of it. Um, again that sense of doing something different together and 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 having a bit of fun kind of doing that telling a telling a story a, a bit of a storyteller i love telling stories so a different way to tell story a story was really good and i remember reading robin hood when i was young and really enjoying it as a story so it's a story i actually really like so yeah it's great fun oh being in a film and seeing how it worked seeing how the, 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 the camera and the angles and how you work it out at the beginning and do a little run through um, and, and then um, how, how the, the sound and, and the vision, I, I'm still not sure how, how that's going to work. I'm really looking forward to seeing bits of the end things. Um, it was nice doing because when we've done a pantomime, you start at the beginning, once upon a time, and you finish at the end, they lived happily ever after. But it's not like that with the film, is it? Um, I loved the locations. It was so nice being in the woods today where it's local. The thing I enjoyed the most about the filming of Robin Hood has got to be the fight scenes. Um, I'm not too sure how well it looks, but I certainly had a great time doing it. So. It, was, it was just getting out of the the state but also because I've had a really tough few months really tough year it was just getting out for the day coming out of, of the pandemic and the lockdown and, and everything and just getting on a coach and just going down to Tutbury and it was just it was brilliant even though I was a runner it was just being there and doing things and seeing the castle seeing the different parts it was a brilliant brilliant day what I enjoyed about most in the filming of Robin Hood was being on location. I think it gave it, it was just made it so special and um, seeing the actual fight scenes was spectacular. It looks like so professional. You, you wouldn't believe they were an amateur group. It looked professional um, and it, I can't wait to see the end product. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, it was an excellent day. Um, I think probably the Viking battle, although it was really warm. <laughs> it was really warm on the day. And so I really, I really enjoyed that big battle scene and being at the castle as well. So that was, that was uh, really good, even though it was a lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun as well. And I couldn't really, because I've done all the shouting, I could, <laughs> I could barely talk by the end of the day. So I was, I was going quite method. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was talking to the choreographer who was helping us out um, with some of the fighting techniques and he's actually, uh, I've been invited to um, take part now in, in a Viking funeral at the castle in, in November, so I'm going to be part of the march for that, so I've got, I've got another job off it essentially, <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to that because I think he's, he's going to sort me out with all the kits, so they, they have the march through and they kind of do a, um, like a kind of pretend to burn the long boat and everything. So that's, yeah, so that, that's going to be good as well. So I'm looking forward to that. How did it make you feel that you kind of, 
that was there. It was, it was quite nice that he kind of went, uh, yeah, he, he could fit in. So that was really, yeah, I thought, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I think it yeah, was, was quite a compliment to say. But yeah, I thought I did okay, but yeah. <laughs> the thing I enjoy most about the film with Robert Herbert, as I said before, like, help me with the confidence and then learn, like, the sword techniques with the battle and then, like, actually, like, trying to put on, like, the costume and I'm trying to keep my like because I had to have a like sort of wig sort of thing I'm trying to keep it on but then like it just kept coming off and it's like oh, I give up <laughs> so I like the fact that um, so when we went to Tuppy Castle and I'm on crutches so I couldn't really wander around so I sort of sat uh, at the seating area and I was watching people and look at how different we all are in, in, in age, in size, so, we're so different. Every single one, job roles and stuff like that. But we was all together and we was all chatting. It didn't make any difference, anyone's background. We was all there for the right reasons and everyone was chatting and getting on. For me, I sat back and I watched that and I, I loved it. Well, it was brilliant. Oh, well, I mean, um, this is our second film, as you know. We did Brombies the one year and that went down quite well. Uh, and for me, the, the Robin Hood film is not just, a, it, there is a bit of social stuff in there because, you know, robbing from the rich and giving to the poor, which I think is quite um, poignant in uh, the, the days we're in now. But it was during the pandemic that we realised, you know, what, what we've, we can't do anything, you know, and a lot of theatres, um, uh, a, a lot of mainstream theatres and a lot of, um, thick guys that do the same kind of thing as we do were in the same boat they couldn't perform uh, so we did a lot of stuff online as much as we possibly could but a lot of the guys within our group have issues the same as me you know and uh, needed something to occupy the mind so the idea was right we'll knock this script up we, 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 I think we wrote it in a weekend and then send it off to them and say look guys this is what we want to do next have a read through it come up with any ideas and I did and the guys came back with different ideas whether it be on the phone or a text or you know or a zoom uh, uh, and which I found really technical because I'm an old fart and I you know and like I'm just about mastered my mobile phone let alone anything else but it that was a fun part and that got people thinking and it kept their minds off all the other stuff that was going on and then we were lucky that um, took Castle. Uh, in Topbury itself if you've never been there you've got to go it's fantastic uh, gave us a deal and it was the best thing ever to happen to us for a long long time uh, everybody had gone through the pandemic everybody was looking for something to do and we approached the guys and and they said look yeah okay we'll do the deal and we explained that a lot of it was around mental health because let's face it who of us during the pandemic haven't gone a little bit bananas you know with stuff there's only so much telly you can watch you know what I mean and there's only so much reading you can do so you want someone to focus on and that gave us the opportunity to focus on that and uh, we turned up on the day and it was like it was like being a film star really we, we turned up on set which you know you don't get to say very often we usually end up in the community centre or St Wilfrid but to go out on a coach on set do it and uh, it was a, if you could have been there on the day well I hope that it picks it up on the film that you'll see uh, the difference with people and their attitudes to the day and everything was fantastic so for me it was the best therapy in the world really what's the magic that the theatre group brings to community what one is Phil himself has a particular way about him so um, uh, he has this magical way of getting people involved like in things of helping people think oh, I don't really know about that I'm not really sure it's something I quite like to do but I'm a bit nervous and he's got this wonderful way of kind of enticing people in enabling them to do something they feel comfortable with and then stretching them like a little bit so I think it's brilliant for getting people to participate in something in community life that gets them you know out of their house making new friends doing something different building their confidence developing some skills and being able to do that in a way that brings a bit of life to the rest of the community. I think that's that's part of the magic ingredient of it, I think. It's the local people. It's it's 
it's the people that are there it, it's it's nothing to do really with the, the you know script writing and stories they all play an important part but at the end of the day without people without human beings it's just not going to work properly um we've seen some i've seen some good one you know one man shows and things like that which are fine but let's share it you know and uh to get people that have had issues in the life uh, and people who are a little bit scared they want to have a go but that they're, they're frightened of making a fool of themselves so what we've actually done i think is we've created a family where we can say what we want when we want and if something goes wrong we we make fun of it and we just have a while of a time basically that's what it's all about i think the ma- i mean the magical moments you just get this there's a real warm feeling that it's hard to explain really but you know i just think we are such a wonderful group of people that as i said before don't take each other don't take things too seriously and for me it's the moments where you see people doing things that they just would never imagine themselves doing and it just happens and people just give have a go at something and if, they, if people mess up it doesn't matter we just we just do we just have a laugh together and i think it, it it's genuine for me it's, it's that genuine joy you know i really feel genuine joy with with the tuesday nights when we rehearse the performances that we do the different activities that we do the murder mysteries and the different it is genuine joy and it just yeah we just have fun but at the heart of it is people who care for each other and i think that's you can't take the two apart you know it's not it's not about a bunch of people that just do a performance it's actually people who genuinely care for each other so it's those two things intertwine really wonderderly well being part of the theatre group brings a lot of magic a lot of joy to the community we do um shows for people but for me it's about um, we meet every tuesday and it's nobody can't do nothing so even it's behind the scenes come along and every tuesday we start practicing our, from september and we come every tuesday and it's an escape it's a place to feel safe, secure, um, be heard, be listened to, and develop. And we have these jokes every week, every week. It's it's brilliant, and we just develop every time. Because we are part of the community, we're not um, a therapy group coming in. We're not do-gooders. We are the community and we are generating the do-goodness. It comes from um, this lovely group of people and it isn't, I mean, you, you've got your, your kings, you've got your key key figures like um, it, it, it's Phil and Flo who, who sort of run it and, and there, there's Paul, the sort of lieutenant. But um, th- there's a moving group of people. I've been did I say seven years, isn't it? So in seven years, um, there are still the, 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 the main group of people, but there are lots of lovely different people who come. So, and it's lovely to see people coming and going without any difficulty. There's never been any animosity that, that, that I can recall. And yet it's a, a, an evolving, changing, moving group. And that's magic. Um, I think it's like the mix of personalities and you know and different points of view. So it's it's everybody's you know there's different backgrounds and it's actually you get it's interesting to hear about other people's stories. So that's that's really it and it's a really good dynamic and and um, I think everybody's pretty honest with each other, which is which is really good and not quite refreshing. The theatre, the magic that the theatre group creates in the community is. I think it's a sense of camaraderie and um, it's built up relationships and it's, it's like a glue and it sort of stuck the, sticks the community together. Um, the relationships have lasted over years and I think they'll continue to last for many years. I think it's Phil. It's definitely Phil. It gets everybody involved, it gets everybody involved um, and, and puts things on as well. The, the panto each year, it's, it's community as well and 
like say kids around here that have never seen a panto before because of say cost they can come and watch a, a panto re which is really reasonably priced really cheap priced and they can they can do that in, instead of say going to the, the rep or something where it, where it's cost prohibitive but it's 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 definitely fill and and, uh, and flow as well and 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 the costumes are just brilliant and it's 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 really good you you look forward to it coming up and then when it's done you miss it and then the next weekend you think oh well last weekend I was I was doing panto last weekend or last Friday I was doing passion play or, or something like that it's 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 I just love it really love it so I think the magic of the theatre group includes that amazing kind of encouragement that people who often don't necessarily believe in themselves believe they can do something kind of are nurtured and encouraged to discover what they can do and to to flourish um, there's something in the theatre group that's about there's there's never a satisfaction with kind of you know we've done it now there's always a restlessness to to want to push the boundaries further to uh, to widen the circles, to draw more people into involvement, to make it a more diverse group, more representative of, of the community as a whole. Um, there's always kind of a, a desire to do something bigger and better and riskier and more exciting and more fun than, than the last time around. And, and a sense of kind of, yeah, seeing it very much as weaving through the fabric of our, our neighbourhood. So actually the stories... Uh, that are nurtured and encouraged by the theatre group become part of the fabric of the neighbourhood, become part of the community story here? Uh, I think the magic is that, the, like, the, the way that we perform, like, if we make a mistake or stuff, even if we're on stage and, like, it just make everyone just laugh with, like, them watching, so it cheers them up. Like it's a day, like all evening, a bit more better depends on like, the time we do the film and stuff. But yeah, it's just cheers everyone up really, to be honest. I think the magic that makes the group important to the community is the diversity, the the differences of people's backgrounds and abilities. We don't exclude anyone. We we include anyone that wants to be involved, whether they're able to perform, whether they've got the confidence to be on stage or whether they want to do things in the background, working with the props, doing this um, scene changes for the pantomimes and stuff. Doesn't matter who you are, you're more than welcome to join and I think that is the magic about this group. They don't they don't take themselves too seriously. And they're happy to let anyone come and join, no matter who they are. And I love that about it. I think the, the magic that makes the group such a big part of the community is, is just its ability to kind of have a place for everyone. So it doesn't matter what your background is, what your skills are, what it is you're passionate about, there's a job for someone in the theatre group. And if there isn't, we'll make one. And that's, that's the beauty of it, really. So just having a, a place and a space for everyone, no matter what. I mean, the ripple effects have been huge, I think. The learning from taking someone's gifts and passion and giving something a go. I mean, I, I would even go as far as it's, it's helped to define the job that I do. So the job that I do in the community, which is about um, listening to people's gifts and skills and passions and what they'd love to do. And, you know, it, it inspired um, that way of working. Um, you know, responding to when people say, Do you know what, I'd love to give this a go, or I'd love to, I'd love to try this if I had the chance. And, and people have done cafes, people have done even, even small little groups, you know, sewing groups, but it's the, it's the, way, it's the, it's the approach and the ripple effects of cre you know, creating that environment where people feel welcome, people feel they can share and be part of something, give people a go, listen to what people, their passion and their skills. The ripple effects is how we are as a community. And I think it's, uh, you know, we, we are a community that gives, gives things a go and, 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 and tries things that are different as well. And I think, you know, I think a lot of that goes back to the, 
the theatre group and the, how the theatre group started. And even to this day, new members, new people that come, you walk through that door. I mean, everyone jokes saying, don't, don't get into a conversation with Phil because before you know it, you'll be in the panto. And, it, and it's true, you know, people, there is something that's captivating and it, it has, it's inspired other things in our community and it's inspired the way that we are a community. Yeah, so I would say the ripple effect absolutely is that as people build relationships and friendships with each other, as people build their confidence and their skills, as people realise that they can do things together, the ripple effect is enormous then because people start doing things with their neighbours, getting to know other people, finding support from people around them, not feeling so isolated and lonely sometimes. All of those things are a ripple effect of doing something that brings people together, that enables people to learn all those confidence and skill stuff, of having a bit of fun, finding friendships. The ripple effect is enormous, I think, in our community because of it. Yeah, I mean, certainly the confidence is, is one of the ripples. And, and I think even being in the audience at a theatre group production, actually, you know, you can, you can see uh, the way that participants have grown uh, and are flourishing and are kind of enjoying uh, discovering what's possible and that's quite infectious that kind of that spreads to others um, and I think there's something about uh, the theatre group as well that actually encourages others to to explore what might be possible if they have an idea if they have something that they're longing to to do or get involved in it doesn't necessarily have to be kind of joining the theatre group but actually it's it's encouraged others to to push the horizons to explore what's possible for them and for for, for other things in the neighborhood um yes because ev everybody knows the theater group so you know getting involved with the theater group um people uh, across the, the Bromford and Furs estate so they know me and so it's not such uh, it's not so intimidating get, getting to know a counsellor they know you so it helps break down those barriers um, of people who need help they're, they're more able to approach approach me uh, so that helps uh, I think the fact that I'd like to think we're fairly well respected in the community and uh, people never know what we're going to do next, which is great. I mean, are that, are, we've actually done things, uh, we've done street theatre where we've done like a, a 1940s day and we've just turned up at a green and done it, you know, I think they call it flash mobbing now or something like that. And we've just turned up and done it and one of my neighbours came out there one day and spoke to, to, to my other half, my, my Lauren, and said, Oh, is Phil being daft again? And she went, yeah. And I said, oh, that's fine then. And I just took it as the norm. And for me, that's great. That's great. And it's brought a lot of people together, a lot more than I realised when, when we first started uh, on this road that we're on. And we've still got loads of things to do yet and plenty of time to do it. Um, but it has brought a lot of people together. Some of them that wouldn't normally be together, but they are. And they all share the same purpose. Uh, to be here on, when we have rehearsals for the pantomime, when we do rehearsals here in the hub, uh, sometimes that's even better than the performance because it's so funny, you know. So I think the ripple effect basically is that like people out there know they're more than welcome to come and join and there's no stigma to what we do at all, you know. Come and go, come and do one thing and then if you want to go, it's fine, that's okay. So one of the things actually that we've talked about in terms of possible other things we could do is outdoor theatre. That's one of the things that we've like that we've talked about that I think would be great fun. We've done things like murder mysteries and do you know what I mean those kind of uh, do you know what I mean those kind of things. Um, it'd be I don't know if people would be up for it. It'd be really interesting to do kind of a longer play rather than just pantomimes and 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 a bit of filming. So I'd be quite interested in in that. I did a bit of that when I was a kid. So. I'd love to go back to that. So there's all kinds of ideas, I think, wacky and weird, creative that we could do. Uh, the projects that I think the theatre group should go out in the future is probably try and get like more, like probably more of the community to come in to do like a very big scene or something like that. So it's like cut the streets off and then like have a big zombie walk or something like that. 
which will probably be fun, but then annoying at the same time, but either way. <laughs> We'd like to do sort of a bit of a Doctor Who type, sci-fi type thing. That's that's something that's uh, on the back burner. I'd like to do something a little bit medieval as well, you know. I'm quite, I'm quite into the, um, myself and one or two of the other guys are into the cosplaying and stuff like that. So that's just down our street. And, and, but the big thing coming up next is obviously the pantomime. We're going to be doing Aladdin this year, uh, venue to be arranged. It will be local. Uh, we're not 100% sure yet, but as soon as we know, we'll, we'll, you guys will be the first to know. But uh, we want to film Aladdin this year, which was actually our very first pantomime we ever did. So we're revamping it to fit in with today's stuff that's gone on. So yeah, that's, that's the next big thing is the pantomime, I suppose, yeah. I really think that there's more opportunity for filming, oppor like to do films. Um, I know Phil's got a few up his sleeve already, um, but a few ideas I've got in my head is to do more themed events where we can have people in characters and it's trails where they've got different stations and it's it's just incorporating the different characters from different different areas, but also to just do creative writing days where people come in and like put forward their ideas and see if we can take from that and build on it and create something new that we can perform as a theatre group or do something completely new as part of the community around here. I don't know I think I think yeah it's it's kind of we could have a go for kind of anything really I think I think uh, yeah it's it's just the imagination of the group. I mean, there is, I mean, because um, Phil's a massive Doctor Who fan, so I don't know if that would actually be something as, as the, the wider group would do, but that would be something we'd definitely be interested in doing. In terms of having ideas for the, for the future projects, not really, but I think Phil normally has plenty, so if we don't think of any in time, I'm sure Phil will have plenty of ideas of where to go in the future. So there's something quite unique about the Bromford Theatre Group. And, you know, it's not as simple as just saying, you know, you need to start a theatre group where you are, although that, that might be the thing. What I would say is that actually in your community, you need to find the fills. You need to find those people with spark and passion who are longing to draw other people into involvement, who are longing to, uh, to discover what other people's gifts are and nurture them and encourage them to flourish. And actually, if you find those people and encourage them and support them and connect them together, actually the, the magic of Bromford Theatre Group uh, will be a different kind of surprising, wonderful magic in, in your own community. I would say to other people, listen to what people really care about. Listen to what people are passionate about. Genuinely listen when someone says, I'd love to give this a go. Get alongside them give things a go but you have, have fun while you're doing it and I think that's what the theatre group is about to me giving something a go and having fun as you're doing it uh, it doesn't matter what you do um, you know I, I, I kind of don't want people to listen to this and go oh, we need to set up a theatre group because you, you if you did if you did that you're not quite getting what we do it doesn't have to be a theatre group it could be anything but it's the ingredients of someone's passion, someone's skills, creating that welcoming environment, giving people a chance, giving people a go, and don't take it too seriously and have fun. Uh, to, to people who I would say to make a difference to their own community is, one, make sure like you've got a second family in a way, so you, like different people, be like understanding with one another and then spread it across your community and then bring slowly bring people in whilst helping others at the same time so yeah I think it's my advice for other people if you want to get involved and uh, do things for the community do it absolutely um, there's never no wrong um, give it a try come along theatre group and try even at the rehearsals make friends uh, Phil belonged to a group. Just do it. Do it. Don't, don't. I always go with the policy, just do it and apologise later. That's, for me, that's always a good one. And I get into a lot of trouble for it, but nevertheless. But just, if you feel that you've got an idea and you want to do something, 
find out who your local councillors are, find out who your local... Uh, we're lucky we've got the hub and Worth Unlimited and we've got Cathlo, the community centre. So, uh, and we did have St Wilfrid's, you know, and stuff like that. So there's always somewhere you can go and speak to somebody about it. And even if you think it's the daftest idea in the world, just give it a go. You've got nothing to lose except probably a bit of time and probably your self-respect. But you can build that back up later, trust me, you know. Just do it. Just go out there and have a go. Uh, the worst you can do is fail, yeah? You know, and then you just pick yourself up, brush yourself down and start all over again. So I would say to other people who wanted to make a difference in the community, the best thing you can do is just have a go. So it can be quite daunting and easy to sit on the sidelines, but honestly, just have a go. The worst you can do is fail, and if you do, have another go. It doesn't really matter in the end, so just have a go. If you want to make a difference in the community, be part of the community, get involved with the community projects and uh, any of the community projects. But uh, I recommend the theatre group. It's it's so it's so much fun, and it builds, especially for young people. It builds self esteem, self confidence, um, and you'll have so much fun and make lots of new friends. And for all age groups, not just for young people, for for all age groups, but try it you won't you won't regret it uh, yeah it's 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 do what you can i mean it doesn't have to be a big thing you know you could get involved in in a small way you could you know even if it's just like locally if you just look just litter picking or you know just the tidying green areas just yeah you know, it, it's it's it doesn't matter what you do really yeah you know, it's it, you can make it as big as as small as you want depending on you know how much time you can commit to it but yeah it's it really is nice to have a sense of community um, where you live and know people's names and know your neighbours and I think that's that's kind of seems to have got lost a little bit in kind of the last in kind of last few years. Um, I think the one thing I would say to other people that want to make a difference in their community is to talk to everyone that, that are around them. Find out what it is that they want you know um, don't just do something that you think people want actually go around find out what it is that people want and then build from that and create something um, that that incorporates everyone's wishes and the great thing about Furs and Bromford is they've done that you can see that with the street events that they do the theatre group they've done that and it it's amazing to see they don't just cater to one particular audience they try and involve everyone and that's what I love about this and I think if anyone else wanted to do that to follow follow the same footprint in in a sense that they've done here and then take it forward and grow on it and develop it just do it just just take part do it do something better because it's it's really good it is it, you'll get the uh, you'll get it you really will you'll get uh, that excitement that buzz and and everything to to do and and you've got something to look forward to so I think the things about the theatre group are that um, in a community, when I first moved here um, 18 years ago, I think it was now, there weren't really any spaces for people to connect with each other. There weren't really many groups where people could come together. I think part of the magic of the theatre group here is it's become a core way in which people come together, build friendships, get to know each other, have fun together, discover something that they're passionate about. And I think that's the important thing in a community like here, which often gets written off as a place that there's not much going on and actually the things that are going on is seen as bad stuff. That actually here's something that's a, a beautiful part of the light of what actually is possible. Like in a community, if only you tapped into what people care about and did things that bring people together. And so I would say this theatre group has had an enormous impact like on this community um, because of all of that. Just a big thank you to everybody that helps make it work. It's not, this is, this was my original idea. Um, we had funding, we've, we had some funding from a company called Star People. I don't know whether they're still about, but if you are guys, thank you so much. Absolutely wicked, you got us, you got us in a good place. Um, and a big thank you to the big local as well, who've been very, very supportive uh, over the years. And thank you to them. Uh, but the biggest thank you is to all the guys and the girls that are actually in the group because without them my dream 
my dream is now their dream and it wouldn't have come true without them so thank you very much and to anybody else that wants to join in or get involved just get in touch we're, we're open to any kind of offers if you want to give us loads of money to make the next film that's even better so but, but thank you